Run me down, them up, run me down. Count me out, them up, count me out. Hold it down, me up, hold it down. One man, I me up, hold it down. Cool it down, me up, cool it down. Cut the flight, then I touch the side, and I cut the vibe, then I feel the high, then I feel the high, then I touch the side. It's a real bad move when you sneak up on them, man, they can see you coming. Man a real bad man, you cannot tell the word for me See my down, see my down, hear my story now You can hold me down, grace to glory now Man a holy man, truly man, or holy man They can't defeat the man now They can hold me down Bad man I be forever They can't stop me now Hasta la vista baby Settle down Settle down, I'm still the man, I'm on the man, they want the man, I'm still the man, I'm on the man. Pull me down, I got this time, I run this time, I'm on the man, they want the man. They can't hold me down. Bad man, I'll be forever. They can't stop me now. I'll start on this forever. Okay, look, I'm in Jamaica. I have to be excited because I'm happy. This is like day two. We got here yesterday, like two days ago. We had an overlay in Orlando. So we ended up having to stay overnight because the overlay was 12 hours. So we got a hotel, stayed at the hotel. And then yesterday we got here in Jamaica. I haven't been like vlogging and doing all this talking like I'm doing now. And that's mostly because I haven't gotten a lot of alone time. And I really don't like people like, staring at me and seeing me talk. To a camera and everything but i gotta get used to it so this vlog is gonna be more of like montages or like clips of like videos and just the beautiful island and the people and the culture sorry for all this talking i'm gonna give you all a fit check really quick though okay so this is the fit for today my blue pants and they look like that and then like you know the hair wrap and zig and everything i got this in south america ecuador and this is the bag I think someone called me like a Rasta or something. <laughs> or something like that. You know, these things are really real. So I'll see y'all when we go and get dinner tonight. Fast, last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. 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 Nothing to discuss, cause I did put my fault and without any doubt. I'm a me happy at all, I look a feed the girl, I look a feed the girl is out. I'm a mind as you can talk, I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love. Checking in right now. 
Okay, y'all, so we left Negril and now we're in Montego Bay for the next few days. And it feels really nice out here. And I didn't get to show y'all the fit for the day, but I'm gonna show y'all when I get inside after dinner. Um, it's been a long day, so I haven't done a, a lot of vlogging. I don't see you. And I definitely don't see you. Well. <laughs> Boy, you black. Oh my gosh, I can't see you. It's like okay, that. though. We love the melanin. I got my little hair wrap on. I did have my hair different. I had like a top bun and the rest was down, but it got hot. So I pulled it into a back bun and then I threw my head wrap on. This is the fit for the day. I'm gonna bleep it right quick. I'm gonna take a shower. Cause it's. it's Original Batman. Ah, uh, and uh, me get this song for them. Lego. Ah, uh, original Batman. Eh, oh, ah, this body baby. Eh, ah. It's fake kills. Spanner. Catching a vibe. Ah, me and my guys, we are feeling alright. Oh, ah. Feeling the crew. Dancing like we ain't got nothing to lose. Another bottle done go down Me and my guys never slow down Them girls no one come down We be going from short to short now Stop having me want my knee pay They wanna put me on the display But me I know say Make them watch me on the TV yo. Well my friend is okay Anytime they see me They no want to feel me They just want to talk oh. Take it wrong and okay they play my music If you get my CD Make you hate me when you see me nah, nah. They want to know Top of me in the street To my cell only they come They got to go Top of me in the bed To my calm down But my music fire, he did right. So today's like been a chill day, you know, we're on the beach and everything so I haven't got to talk to you guys much. I'm gonna try to chat with y'all later on today. Um, we're not in such a public setting, but I am gonna let you guys see this today. I've kind of just been chilling, drinking my coconut water and reading this book. I am gonna try to wake up really early to meet you guys catch the sunset with you tomorrow. Yeah, let me show you guys the view. Sitting on the low key, ah, she could. Man a bad man, they can try this too Well my brand is okay Anytime they see me They no want to see me They just want to talk oh, Take it wrong and okay If you they play my music If you get my CD Make you hate me when you see me now nah, nah. They want to know Top 
Tobarry me in the street, to my say, Uli Mika, the gas to go. Tobarry me in the bed, to my calm down. Original bad man It's fake hills Standard Tell y'all my thoughts on that and hear y'all's thoughts on that. So being on an island where all of your people are you, that's amazing. Here I am rambling, but I just think that's like really cool that everyone's black. I got really off topic, but that's okay. And two, the food. The food's amazing. Plantains Festival, I love that stuff. Everything is fresh, everything tastes different. Junk food, like if you look at the ingredients, depending on what you get, there's no artificial flavor. The bananas taste different. Because they're not GMO over here, like they are where we are. Totally different taste. I pick mango off the mango tree. Different. They're way sweeter. The papayas are oh, amazing. Pineapple. Yeah, that's just stuff that I love. I love the people. That's also that I want to touch on people. America, our people are really divided. There's no unity in the black community. Here, there's far more unity, but there's far more unity with each other. Most people here are supportive of each other. But when outside black Americans come, we've got some Jamaicans who are very like loving and bring in us, their brothers and sisters. And there are other ones who are nasty. I'm gonna keep it real. Like nasty as in disrespectful. If I have any Jamaican viewers watching this, I don't know. It's different. They treat us very different. Some of y'all, not all of you, treat us very different than I treat a white person. It's like, bro, I'm the people. I love my people wherever you are. I love my people. I support my people. I want to see my people thrive. So when we come over here and we have our people treat us like booty, it kind of sucks. But I try not to dwell on it because it is what it is. You know, that's where you go anywhere, I guess. Like, even some of the Jamaicans here that will be like, yeah, everyone's not super nice. And that's okay. But it's just unfortunate how you treat a white person better than your people. And I feel like that's really twisted. But that's something they've always done. That's even the thing in America. We'll go support the white people and their businesses. We'll go support the racist people. Tommy Hilfiger, Gucci, and Versace, and Prada, and all these name brands because they're a name brand, but we won't support our own people. And that's just because our people are broken. Some of our people are twisted. And that's been years and years of bondage and slavery and mental slavery and continuous present day slavery. It's time to come up out of that. But a lot of people don't want to come out of that crutch. The same with colorism. You know, it's a lot. This is the wrong video to be talking about it, but it's something that was a thing for me here that was booty. This is my second time in Jamaica. It's my first experience here is on a resort full of Caucasians. Don't get me wrong, but for y'all, we are trying to call me a racist, which I can't even be racist because I don't have the power to suppress a Caucasian, so I can't even be a racist. But if you want to help me, try to call me bias, we'll never know. I like white people that like me, respect me, who treat me the way they want to be treated. When I was younger, I went to 
about mainly white schools and all, so that's not an issue for me. Skin color has never been a problem for me. It's not about skin tone for me. I'm just saying I love black people. I support black people. But I love every other race as well. If you love me, if you support me, if you're of the kingdom, then you for me. But when you're in. So as I was saying, I've been to Jamaica before, but the first time was very resorty. I stayed in the resort my entire trip. It was beautiful, but I didn't experience Jamaica. I experienced some Jamaicans and they were just, yes, yes sir, or yes ma'am, no ma'am. And I did meet like one really nice one. It was a nice one when we were on the boat for my mom's bachelorette party. You know, they were cool. I won't let you drown or something. So I was like, the next time we go, I want to experience them. I want to be with the locals. I said that, but we really got down with the locals. We stayed where the locals stayed. We went to the local food spots. And the prices are cheaper and they taste way better. We stayed in like a hotel that it was full of locals. Just three days and then we stayed at an Airbnb by a local. So we got to be like right there with the locals. Walk like locals do, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, it was hot in that place. And then even this place where we go eat dinner sometimes, locals. So, you know, we got to really see the island. We got to really be with my people. You know? And that was amazing because why would I come to Jamaica to see a bunch of when I can see Imagine waking up, looking at the moon, and seeing this every single day. I don't know how you could get tired of this. The water's shimmering. I feel like your nose is there, and that really sucks. But yeah, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm a sucky vlogger. Like, I don't like people looking at me. I don't like unwanted attention. So, you know, I'm trying to work on that when it comes to vlogging and stuff. Everybody ain't looking at you, girl, and even if they are, ignore them. Everything's amazing. I don't really have friends, y'all. I don't fool people like that. People are weird. I don't know. I just fool who fools like me. I don't go out of my way to speak to people, whoever you are. If it's meant for me to talk to you, we're meant to talk. You're not going to go out of my way to speak to someone who doesn't speak to me, to speak to someone who doesn't take me back, to speak to someone who doesn't feel the need to reach out to me when months go back. That doesn't matter who you are. You can be anyone, except for my grandfather. You're going to talk to me and my mom. There was an exception, but my grandfather will put y'all to me almost every day. When he gets to slacking, he gets that phone call, like, where you been at, baby, dog? Like, you know you gotta talk to me. Can't go nowhere without me. But yeah, so like, he know. He know. Ring, ring, ring. Get your friend out there. Um, so where you been at? Because I ain't got a text. I ain't got a call. I'm nothing. You're neglecting me. And you better get it together. And he'll tell you, if you see this, I'll tell him, don't, don't neglect me. I'm practically your child. Like, don't get it twisted. You're my favorite person. Your favorite person can't neglect you. Point blank, period. If they do, then y'all need to have a conversation. I don't even know how I got on to talking about that. Like, I've been talking, girl. Be quiet. Oh, that reminds me. Back to what I said. I don't go out of my way to speak to anybody. Anybody. I'm not in that phase where I have to have people in my life. I really feel like it's y'all removing people out of my life that I don't need. And that can be anyone. People are so quick to say, hold on to family. Yaddy, yeah, daddy, do. But the Bible tells you that your blood isn't really your family. It's the people who are of the kingdom that are your family. That's your family. Yeshua said, who is my mother? Who is my mother? As in, the people of my, the kingdom of my mother is my father, is my brothers, my sisters. That's my family. So if you ain't kingdom, you ain't family. Point blank, period. You can feel how you want to feel about that. I'm in a different point in my life. Final friends or no family. they will be your downfall and yourself because you allow them to be your downfall. But if you see yourself acting or changing because of their carnality, what I have to learn. If my language is changing because I'm around you, if my personality, if I'm changing myself to be like you in a not good way, then you're not for me. You really shouldn't be around each other. And that's the assessment I have to put myself. Y'all chastised me. Shoot, I got it. I felt it. It cut too. Here it clears down. So I'm like, okay, cool. So be mad at me. He told me to leave you alone, so I left you alone. I mean, even close like to cousins who I grew up with, talk to them. You can't take everybody with you. I know people like to try to tell you you need to do that, but if y'all told me I can't do that, then it's not way. Sorry. I'm on a whole other level, and that's not cockiness. That's just me protecting me. That's me protecting my peace. You gotta protect your peace sometimes. You gotta protect who you are. Everybody shouldn't have access to you. And that goes for everyone. This is a carnal standpoint, but celebrities won't allow 
own friends or a family member that attached to them because they only want them to be around them for the fame and the money. And when they do allow those people to be around them, something bad always happens. So in a spiritual standpoint, when I allow very carnal people to be around me, you are who you're around. You're constantly pouring into someone and no one's pouring into you. Or if they are, they're pouring wickedness into you. What good comes out of it? I says don't cast your jewels among swine, among pigs. It's a waste of jewels. I've done that so much. I just cast my jewels and cast them and just throw y'all my jewels that I can give to somebody who want them. And y'all just don't hear it. So like for the people that I, I'm called to plant a seed to or water a seed, I do that. I try to do that. If I'm not meant to be around you, I'm not meant to be around you. And that was really hard for me to fathom for the longest. I got to a place where I was able to separate myself, you know. And then for some people, I just, just took myself away and other people had to gradually take myself away as he revealed to me how me being around them negatively impacted my spiritual growth it made me want to snatch away you are called to love everyone so you know, i would never be disrespectful to you there's not much to converse about what is there to converse about if you're not pouring anything good into me if you're calling me to talk to me about drama about your drama or yada yada do then there's no reason to have a conversation different and people notice I'm different and I feel like y'all also will pull people away from me also. Like I'll just stop hearing from people and that's people who aren't meant to be in my life anymore. That's fine with me, you know. Years ago I would have cried about it or I would have been sad about it. But I I've been to the place where I've been with people. I've been with people I've, for so long, you know, I didn't have a lot of people when I needed people in like really hard times in my life. It was like I don't really need y'all. You got a heaven to heaven to put me into, so why do I care about your opinion? Why do I care about what you say, you feel me? You gotta work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I want to have the most righteous fear. The same way you fear your parents disappointing them, you should be the same way with him. And that's how I want to be. You know, your parents can't put you in hell, but you can. It's not even just about that. It's about the love and the grace. About so much. I just get my whole little long TED talk or Bible study or not even Bible study. I need to pull out the Bible. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you for waking up with me, taking this to me. The sun was over there. Hold up, baby. The melanin. The melanin is what I be talking about. It's what I be talking about. She be glowing. See, that's another blessing. Like being melanated. Yo, I've never burned in my life. Being melanated is a blessing. Maybe you're glowing, okay? I absorb the sun, my hair absorbs the sun, my skin absorbs the sun. We looking popping in the sun. But you guys like this talk, if you like more talks, um, just let me know in the comments and don't be afraid to interact. I love to hear you guys' thoughts and things that I say. Just comment them down below. I'm just gonna interact with y'all, no matter what, whatever the question is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. That's crazy, but it's cool. Just listen to the message, don't look at my lips. Thank you. Why are you looking there anyway, exactly? You shouldn't even notice it. Period. <laughs>
Tell them 